Hey, it's Vizo, and I gotta confess something to you guys. Demon girls are awesome. I've been hell taker five times now, and dear oh my to Lucifer, I don't get tired of it. I just love puzzle related games, but what I love even more is the characters. Helltaker is all about a guy who one day wakes up and realize he has a dream. A dream of having the finest demon harem that man has ever known. I can get behind that ambition. I also like demon girls and wouldn't mind a harem. Over the years, I became a bit of a Helltaker fan. I even started collecting the figures. When all of them come out, you can bet I'll have a full set. I've seen a lot of Helltaker material, from the fighting games to alternative stories, as well as the official comics that Van Ripper made. I'm too far gone. There's no hope in saving me. I love each and every one of these girls so much. However, it dawned on me. What if I could only choose one? This is a life or death question, literally. If I've learned anything from the Bible, it talks about demons being pretty bad. Some will kill you the first chance they get. However, I've never been one to follow the rules. Like all those girls who flock to the bad boys, I flock to the bad girls. Panda Monica is a lot of people's favorite for a good reason. She's the very first demon girl you meet, so people would naturally get attached. Hell, I am too. While she is a very fatigued and sleep deprived secretary, when you give her a cup of coffee, her expression changes. She is more alert and does life get more exciting. She has such a fiendish grin that easily sends a shiver down your spine. <laughs> Not only that, but she has a secret nice and sweet side when drinking coffee. I'm kind of curious on how she acts away from everyone, but that's confidential. Panda Monica with coffee is God tier. It's really just as they say. When a girl enjoys her cup of coffee, she's at her best. Proverbs. 2119. Modius is a nymphomaniac. Everything she says or does relates to something sexual. However, her innocence to romance is so goddamn adorable and hilarious. While being a lustful demon, she only knows the sexual things. When it comes to anything remotely romantic, it truly is the kinkiest sight she has ever seen. Holding hands? Are you a goddamn pervert? What's next you're gonna put on when Harry met Sally? Are you insane? Have you no morals? Are you a freak of nature? You should be ashamed of yourself. You make me fucking sick. Showing such explicit acts of sexual attention without the actual act? This is blasphemy in the holy court of Lucifer. I see why people like her. She doesn't know the small things in life, only the big and grand. It's fun seeing her reaction to the simple parts of romance. Like they say, romance is in fact very kinky, my friend. Ezekiel 23, 19 through 20. You know that classic sitcom trope of dating twins being the greatest thing in the world? Well, Cerberus is a three for one special. That's right, triplets, baby. Taking inspiration from mythology, Cerberus is one soul within three separate bodies. A hive mind, if you will. Look at her. Isn't she just adorable? There's just something so naturally charming about three of the same characters moving in sync with one another. You could say it's the rule of three, doing magic on my brain. But I kind of like magic, so I don't mind. It's as they say, if you got one, why not go for two? If you got two, why not go for three? If you got three, why not go for four? Whoa, easy there, Vizo. Let's not get too crazy. This is how you enter an infinite loop of pleasure. It's best to stop at three or else. Dude, 2853. Have you ever thought about the grumpy dwarf from Snow White and wonder, what if he was hot? Melina is as grumpy as they come. A sourpuss with anger issues. However, she is the demon I relate to the most. She's a gamer. An age-old tale told since the beginning of time. I'm sure you heard it as well growing up. Gamer girlfriend. When the words strategy games came from her mouth, I fell in love instantly. Her personal favorite drink is vodka. I'm not much of a drinker, but I'm willing to set bygones aside for her. Fan Ripper, please give me Melina. I need her. Melina may seem like a simple character, but there's nothing wrong with that. She's always fed up with work and just wants to take out her frustrations in a fictional world. 
it's extremely easy to see why a lot of people like her. Hell, I can easily see myself hanging out with her. I'm a big meathead when it comes to video games. I love them, and the idea of gaming with her just sounds so goddamn charming. As the Old Testament used to say, If you can game with your wife, she's a keeper. Proverbs 31, 6 through 7. I hate her, but at the same time, I love her. She is a smug shit who smokes all the goddamn time. She does whatever she wants and plays by her own rules. Strata is such a bad girl. I mean like literally. She's really not good for you at all. However, that makes her so much more fun and unpredictable when you're with her. She's the definition of a bad girl. The type your parents tell you to stay away from, but yet ain't cause your imagination's just running wild with the possibilities with her. <sighs> She's actually Melina's sister by the way. While she does call video games nerd shit, there's been multiple accounts of her playing games with her sister as well. While you could say she's being nice, I think she secretly enjoys these games deep down a little. Strata's the type of girl you have to be a bit more forceful with. She constantly tries to push your buttons, so you gotta push hers back. If this picture tells you anything, it's that girls with glasses are always hot. Deuteronomy 25, 11 through 12. Well, she isn't a demon. She is very curious. Azazel comes off as an extremely nice girl compared to the rest of the cast. She's not insulting me, no drug habits, and not a drinker. Just a curious angel going to hell, looking to do research for a paper to share with the rest of heaven. Everything in the book says she's perfect, but I, I just don't get it. It's like she's too perfect, you know? Wait a moment, she's in the closet. That's right, guys. She's a pervert. And potentially the other thing? I I'm not quite sure. Regardless, she's a girl who's always asking questions, trying to find out what makes demons tick. However, what she doesn't know is the longer she's around them, the more she becomes like them. Azazel, by definition, is the nicest out of all of them. Actually, now that I think about it, if a girl is being nice to you, something is wrong. Song of Solomon, 810! I gotta get the fuck out of here! Now, my personal favorite has to be Justice, but putting personal biases aside, she's still so fucking cool! It's literally in her title, man. Now, you must be asking, what makes someone cool? It's just the vibes, the personality, the aesthetic. She has that 80s action movie star shades going for her. She's the retired badass high prosecutor of hell who just so happens to have gone blind from all that sweet justice she's delivered with her laser beam eye. That sounds pretty metal, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe because I'm such a meathead when it comes to fighting games and she just screams fighting game energy. I need her to shoot beams for me and just keep being bad. Ass. It's like they say, man, you gotta love a woman that can kick your ass. Proverbs 519. Lucy is the poster child of this game, for good reason. This girl right here is the goddamn queen of hell herself. She knows what she wants and ain't afraid to get it. This calculating businesswoman gets shit done. She tends to love making offers to mortals that they can't refuse and has an extremely strong sweet tooth, especially for pancakes. While she may be cold, fiendish, and quite devilish, she's actually quite a tsundere. She's the one that heavily looks down on you, but slowly but surely starts caring for you the most. She likes messing with you and likes pushing your buns, but that's part of the fun with her. This lady is in charge. Remember that fact, or it might cost you your life. Deuteronomy 23, 1. Judgment is hot. Whoa, easy there, Vizo. You're skipping some steps. Judgment is the final boss of this game. She's strong, fierce, and powerful beyond belief. If you want to escape hell, you gotta get through her. Her job is to get rid of sinners by disposing of them in the sin machine. While everyone has sinned, you have really sinned by trying to form a harm of demon girls. But they're all so hot. I know, buddy. I think they're hot too. Judgment is easily the strongest in my opinion. However, she has a weakness. Flattery. You keep throwing compliments at her and she'll be very confused. But that's how you gotta get her. You're a hell taker. And sometimes you gotta use tactics that throw them off the game. Get inside their head. I really believe in these compliments, so they're not lies. Look, Judgment is very serious about her work and I respect that. She's also very into change. 
are a little kinky, but that's fine. She gives such a different vibe from the other characters that I just can't help but appreciate. As a wise man once said, I like my woman big, and I like them chunky. Numbers 24, 8. Now, last but not least, we have the secret demon girl. The one that slithers in the dark. That's quite dashing and charming, to be honest. The person who helped us comprehend this entire story of the Helltaker. I, I don't want that. Don't worry, she can change forms to something you're a bit more comfortable with. Actually, I really like this. Right? Beelzebub was exiled from hell and sent to the Dark Abyss, a place where there's only darkness. Nothing but your thoughts to keep you company. The only way to reach them is by jumping into this inescapable prison. You'd have to sacrifice all the girls for this one. Worth it? Even though Beelzebub is, in all intents and purposes, a bug, their quirkiness makes him so unique, so interesting. I can't help but marvel and wonder about this character. I want to know more, like what they really did to get sent to this place. I'm going in. Wait, Beezle, no! Ah, shit! And there he goes. <sighs> <laughs> Bug ladies are kinda hot. I'm not gonna lie, man. Malachi, two, three. You know, after going through all of them, maybe I was wrong for trying to pick the perfect demon girl. Because in a lot of ways, every single one of them is perfect. I can't help but love them. I guess that's a true point of harm. So you can have them all. Also, I gotta come clean, guys. I'm a big fan of the Bible. I know I tossed it out earlier, but th that was out of misplaced frustration. It happens to the best of us. I'm expecting for them to come out with Bible 2 any day now. It's gonna be so much better than the first one. It'll provide a whole new generation with impactful quotes. I, I just know it. That's what the quote means?